Right guys, welcome back to the channel. No, this time it's not Harry. This is Roger from Operation Mad Dog and I'm doing this video for the Dark Artisan. Today we're going to show you how to make and use animal washers for miniatures to use it as weathering or just as a normal washing technique. So first up, what do we need for it? Uh, we need some oil colors. I got a set with uh, about 50 colors for a fiver, which is really, really cheap from a discounter. Then we need some white spirit. I don't show the bottle, uh, but the liter was about 1 euro 50, so also very, very cheap. Um, something to mix it in. I've got here some plastic shot glasses, but you can also use uh, something like a glass with the lid on, which is airtight, so you can mix up a big amount for using it all of your life. Then some old synthetic brushes. Use synthetic brushes, not sable hair, because the white spirit will attack the sable hair. Some Q-tips. And last but not least, a painted miniature which you already sealed with a gloss varnish. Why gloss varnish? I will tell you in a second. First up, let's mix the washes. I've got four shot glasses here, but I only want to mix three colors. The fourth glass is for the white spirit to clean the brush and we need it later too. Um, then I got some toothpicks to stir it and well, quite easy. Open the top, pour some of the oil paint in the shot glass. It will last a lifetime, at least. And then we add some white spirit uh, gotta be careful pouring it in and way too much white spirit in there but no problem as it hasn't been polluted by the color right now I can just put some in the next glass a little bit more and then use one of the toothpicks to stir it in like I said, no exact recipe, uh, just look at the wash, if it has the right color for you. Uh, if it's too light, add some more paint, like I do right now. If it's too dark, add some more white spirit. And then stir it very, very good, so that it is really mixed thoroughly. Next up, I'm doing a brown wash. I'm using some burnt umber for that. Uh, already have the white spirit in the shot glass, so I'm adding the color. Uh, and it doesn't want to leave the top. Doesn't want to leave, no. Yeah, now it does. And once again, mix it very very good so that all of the oil color dissolves in the white spirit for the last color i want to have an orange for a rust effect um, as i don't have a pre-mixed orange i have to mix it myself using some yellow some red and to make it a little look a little bit dirty some brown works like before adding the colors the yellow the red and the brown and then add some of the white spirit to it As it is not the rust color I intend to have, I have to add a little bit more yellow to the mix, just to have the rust color I really want to have. So, and 
I'm adding a little bit more yellow. But this will definitely fix the problem and I have the color that I want. But maybe you can find the oil color in the rusty tone you really want to have. And now we can start using the washes on the model. So I got this mechanicum terrain piece there and just slub it on. Uh, don't have to be careful because later you can take off any excess. Um, the animal washes flow very very good so you can really use them for pin washing very well. Just put a drop in the recess and it will flow all the way through the recess. It's like magic. Uh, just using here some of the black wash. Putting it anywhere I want. So put on the black wash almost anywhere I want it. Cleaning the brush in the white spirit, now using some of the brown, have to mix it up a little bit again and just smear it everywhere to get some grimy look. You see that also flows very good into all the other pieces. And really slub it on, don't be afraid to put it anywhere you don't want to. You can clean it up later. Now cleaning the brush again using the rust color and slab it on. And after you've done all of that, using all the colors you wanted, give it some time to dry, at least half an hour, maybe an hour. And if you want to, longer than that, because, well, it's an animal wash, you can always remove it. So now I left the miniature dry about 45 minutes, but you can also leave it to dry 24 hours or even longer. Um, the plus on using animal washes, you can always lose it again with using white spirit and a brush like I do here. Um, but I changed now to the Q-tip, which I mentioned earlier in the video, because it goes much, much faster. There are also some kind of makeup brushes, but I didn't find them, which work way better. Ask your wives or girlfriends uh, where they get them. <laughs> And then you can remove all of the paint which you think is too much on the miniature and then just remove everything. So when you're done with removing all of the paint, which you don't see right now here in the video as I'm still working on it, um, leave it at least 24 hours, better be 48 hours to dry and then seal it with a matte varnish and then you have a really nice weathered miniature on your table, be it a vehicle, be it terrain or be it some normal miniature. I hope you liked that video. I'm still working on some of my terrain here. So yeah, let's know in the comments what you think about this tutorial, how to make it better and see you next time.